Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these fine feather seed beads earrings with the famous St. Petersburg stitch. I'm showing step by step slowly and easy so I'm sure even if you are not familiar with this stitch you will be able to make them. You could also check my St. Petersburg stitch playlist that you will see here at this corner and you will start with more basic work with this stitch. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. These are 3 millimeter bicons that are from one of the beading school collection uh, and I'll link it down there in description to see their website. And here I'm using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread which is size D. Uh, the thickness is 0.2 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use 11 or 12 if you want. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are six of these beautiful white beads. Then I'm going to take one of my earring findings, just like this. And I will slide those down almost until the end of this thread. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made. Pull gently. And then what I do is that I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay now guys what i want to do is reinforce this work here okay and i'm going around like this Okay guys, and from here on I will start my St. Petersburg stitch. And if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I will show it slowly and easy and you will be able to make it. Okay, so now what I want to take are six of these beautiful pink beads. Okay, I have my six here and I'm going to slide those down next to, to the white bead. And now what I'm going to do is flip like this two of my pink beads, okay? And go through the middle of those six, okay? Now I have this. Okay, guys, and in my next step, I'm going a bicon and a seed bead. And I'm going to slide it. Then I skip the seed bead. And I go through three pink beads in this direction. Do you see? I'm going through three of them. Pull tight. And here what I want to do is take just one white bead. And I'm going back here through these two pink beads. Okay. Now, now guys, I have this. 
and from here on I will do similar thing. I'm taking four pink beads and when I slide those down I have six pink beads in total like I had in the beginning when I was starting. Now I'm going to flip two of them and go here. You see I already have here two pink beads that is why I'm adding four and I again I have six like I had in the beginning. If you understand what I'm saying. If not, just follow the instructions and everything will be okay. Okay, so now what I did after that, I added a bicon and a seed bead, but here I will do something differently. I will first take one pink bead and then a bicon and a seed bead because as I'm making a feather, the feather is larger in the center. That is why here I will make rows with um, more of these pink beads uh, so my bicon starts sticking out more and now I'm uh, skipping the white and I'm going through this newly added pink bead and through three more so I'm going through four beads in this direction or you could remember it by going here one bead away from these two beads and when I add one here you see I have this now in I am in this beginning position where I take four beads and when I slide those down I have six in total and I'm going to fold it like this now what I want to do is take this time two pink beads here I was expanding with one pink bead now I'm going to take two before the bicon the step before the bicon okay two here I have one here I have zero the step before the bicon here I have one and here I have two and now I take the bicon and one and slide. Then again, what I do is that I skip this seed bead. I go through these two and then through three after that. So I'm going through five beads this time in total. Through the newly added beads and through three more. Okay. And I'm one bead after here, these beads. Now I take one seed bead and I go like this. Okay, and again the step with the four pink beads. Slide down. Flip like this, two of them. Go through the middle, two pink beads. Okay like this and now guys what comes um, are three pink beads a bicon and a white bead so in my previous steps I had one and two before the bicon and now I have three okay then I'm going back now I'm going to take one white bead, go here. And now guys, I want to do an additional step. You see how here those rows are not connected. That is why what I want to do is go back and connect them. This is not obligatory step. You could uh, let them not connect it. But what I'm going to do is connect, you see, sorry for this you see these two beads with these two beads okay these two that are not connected with these two if you have done my angel wings tutorial you will know how i'm doing this whole thing okay and now i'm here
And you see here, I have only one bead to connect here. You see, I'm connecting this one and this one. And now what I want to do after this connection, which is not obligatory, uh, is to exit where these two beads are and continue my work. Okay. And how am I going to continue? Again, what I need to take are four beads. Okay, slide those down. And go here through these two middle beads, you see. Back in circle. Just like I did before, it's absolutely the same thing. Okay, and now I was doing one, two, three beads expansion before the bicom. And now uh, what I'm going to do is again two beats because now I will be decreasing two and one will be my next row. So I slide now two and then I take a bicom and a seed bead and again slide it. Okay. And I go back. And now I'm taking one white bead. And again, I want to connect these beads to these beads. That is why I'm going back and connecting them. Okay, so now I have this and I will go here through these beads. Now, four, I will do this faster. One bead before the bicon. Connect with the previous row. Four beats. And now I'm adding directly the bicon because now I'm decreasing. One, two, three, two, one, zero. Okay. That is how I'm making my rows. Okay. And now, guys, here for my last row, I'm going through these two beads. And here, guys, what I'm going to do is that I'm not adding the step with the four beads to start our next row, but just I'm directly adding one bead, a bicon, and one seed bead. Okay. And I go back here through all of those beads, just like this. Now, guys. I will show you how I'm going back with my thread up to here, up to this part, and I will show you this faster.
Okay, guys. So what I do now is go here through this bicon, then again through its seed bit, and then back through here. all of those bits just like this and now guys I'm exiting out of the same bicon that I started out of the same seed bit sorry that I started my stitch from and now I'm going to repeat this thing from here on but with a little bit of difference and how I do this I take six bits like I did in the beginning Okay, I'm taking six. I sliding those down. I fold those like this, like I did before in my previous rows. Now I push this to the center of my work. Okay, now guys, here what I was doing is to add a bicon and a seed bead. And in the first row, I wasn't adding any pink beads before the bicon and the seed bead. Okay, so now I'm going back here through the bicon and through three more beads. Okay. And now pay attention what's the difference with this part and this part. Here I will go through this white bead that is already there. And then after that go through these two. Okay. I will show you one more step and the next step will be similar. First I'm adding four. Flip it like this. Do this. And now I'm starting the familiar step where I was adding one seed bead before the bicon and this bead. Then I slide and I skip this seed bead and the bicon and I go through three beads in this direction four in total okay and then what i do is that i go through this white bead here and after that through these two pink beads and it is absolutely the same thing guys just be, uh, instead of adding one more white bead you use this one in the center and now continue and now you should add two beads before the bicon three beads then again two one zero and finish it absolutely the same way if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind the video and follow this pattern but from here on and with going through this white bead okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and here i am at al almost my last step and here i added one and now i will add zero beads before the bicon and the seed bead it is absolutely the same, just backwards counting. Zero, one, two, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Now I'm doing the same thing. I'm going here through three pink beads in this direction. Then I go through this white and through the following two. And here at my last step, guys, Pay attention, I'm not making the step with the four beads because this is my last row and here I will add only one pink bead, one bicon and one seed bead. And I'm going to slide those down. Then I'm going back in circle through those beads. Just like this. Then what I do next is go more in this direction. 
and I want to exit through this white bead here in the center. Okay. Now I'm going to take three seed beads, a bicon, and a white bead. Okay. I'm sliding those down. I'm skipping the white bead and I'm going again here through the white bead. Okay, guys, and this is it. Now make a knot, cut your thread, and your feather earring will be ready. Okay, guys, and now my feather St. Petersburg stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Don't forget to check the St. Petersburg stitch playlist and maybe you start from the beginner levels if, if this was difficult for you and down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me